Hey YouTube, my name is Tony Hernandez and today I'm gonna talk about the new camera release, the remarkable Canon EOS R6. So I know guys, these past weeks we all have been very hyped by the new mirrorless cameras Canon just released. So last week I talked about the EOS R5, which seems to be the new Canon's prodigy. But also with the R5, Canon released the EOS R6, which the price is lower than the R5. The price of the R5 is $3,899 US dollars versus $2,499 dollars for the R6. That's around a thousand four hundred dollars difference between these two cameras. So if you don't want to spend that much money on the R5, maybe the R6 is the right camera for you. Let's talk about the sensor. The R6 has a full frame 20 megapixel sensor capacity in comparison to the R5 which has 45 megapixel capacity. But don't get me wrong, 20 megapixels is still pretty good resolution for your photos. The sensor also comes with the amazing 5-axis IVIS image stabilization and like the R5 if used with the stabilized lenses you pretty much don't need a gimbal unless you're doing pretty complex shots but pretty much handheld will do the job. Looking at the body you will find a 3-inch very angled touchscreen and like I said in previous videos nowadays all cameras should have a flip screen. And on the top of the camera, unlike the R5 that has the electronic mode screen, so you can see all the settings there, the R6 has the normal mode dial, so we shouldn't have any problems there. On the side of the camera, you will find a dual SD memory card slot. And if you've been recording videos for a while, you might have a lot of these memory cards. Okay, so let's talk about the video capabilities. The R6 allows you to record 4K, 10 bit up to 60 frames per second, which I think is pretty good. For the ones that don't know what these numbers mean, pretty much 4K allows you to record high quality video. 10 bit allows you to have an amazing color range. And 60 frames per second allows you to record those sweet slow motion b rolls that we all like. You also have the option to record Full HD 10 bit up to 120 frames per second. And a lot of people record Full HD because of the smaller file size in comparison to 4K. And Full HD still is a pretty good video quality. And let's be honest guys, what else do we need? With these video capabilities, we pretty much can do anything we want. Something that I think is pretty cool guys is that there is no crop sensor in any of the recording modes, so that's an improvement. And let's not forget the famous Canon's face tracking autofocus. The R6, like any other Canon's camera, has the autofocus, which is very convenient pretty much for anything. And you can already pre-order the R6, but it seems like they're gonna start shipping by the first week of September. But don't quote me on that one. So it seems to me like Canon is already catching up on the mirrorless cameras game. And I am so happy for that. I can wait to put my hands on the R6 and test it out. I want to find out if the R6 is a worthy competitor of the Sony's mirrorless cameras. Alright YouTube, we have reached the end of this video and if you like the R6 more than the R5, let me know in the comments down below. And you know what to do, like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell and see you guys next time. Or not, it's a free country guys, peace.